Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Today I've got Ant Venom with me. Hello, Ant Venom. Hello, guys. And he is helping me demonstrate my new Snake mini game. Uh, I used some of the new features in the Snapshot 13W37B. And if you look down below here, you'll notice there's a bunch of particles whenever he gets a diamond. You can see on the side it says his, his score in diamonds. Whenever he gets a new diamond, it basically replaces all the command blocks down here. Uh, and these command blocks are activated by pressure plates above here. And so whenever he steps on a pressure plate, it spawns a zombie that will fall onto that pressure plate. And the zombie has a wither effect, so it automatically dies. Now, the no amount of health a zombie has changes as he gets more diamonds, so his tail gets longer, because it takes longer for that zombie to die. So that's pretty much how it works. Uh, if you want to, I guess I'll put you in creative mode so you can hop out and I, and I can show from first person what it looks like. All it right. is a little bit weird from first person. Go, just go ahead and hop out. Uh, you set your own game oh, mode whoops. there. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> whoops. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. So just hop out. Uh, and then I will hop in. First diamond's over there. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna hop in, and uh, and you don't even see the zombies uh, until you look around behind you, and there, there they are. And uh, <laughs> yeah, as you get the diamonds, so you can actually, you don't have to follow a square grid, but you get, you spawn a lot more zombies that way. So I think it's actually better to uh, to try and follow that. Now you can actually walk. Ro oh, <laughs> well, if I am a little more careful, you can actually walk in the row. Let me try this again. Come on, zombies. You can't actually walk in the row next to them. Their follow range is set to be super short so that they can only see someone who's actually in the same square as them. So that's basically how it works. Then if you do hit them, that you know, you're hitting your own tail and, and it uh, resets the game and you just keep playing from where you are. And uh, let me hop into single player mode and I can actually show you uh, the <laughs> what's going on with the redstone. But before we do that, I just want to note that if you go into game game mode one, it's kind of cool. If if you kind of nudge one of them, they'll be off the grid a little bit or not quite centered on the grid. Here, let me try it again. And and they'll start like sp spawning other zombies and moving the other zombies as they spawn them, and they kind of like form these patterns and it can look really cool. <laughs> this is just something I noticed while I was doing. It. If I just yeah, <laughs> and uh, oh dear God. Yeah. So that's kind of silly. Uh, anyway, thank you, Ant Venom. I'm going to hop into single player mode and uh, and show you what's going on uh, there. Oops, sweet deal. Yeah, thanks. So here we are in my single player version of the map, and you can definitely play the game in single player. In fact, it probably will work a lot better in single player. Uh, here's a copy of of the thing, but all the redstone down here is actually a thousand blocks away from the actual game board itself, and there is a lot. It's not loading because <laughs> I am, uh, uh, yeah, th there's a lot of clock stuff going on. But if, if I hop down here, we'll see that there is, it just keeps going down and down and down and down. <laughs> but uh, let me te teleport myself back up. And, uh, but yeah, so basically each one of these rows is a different level of the game. And they, they actually spawn the command blocks up here that spawn the zombies. So... This has a set block command in it that, that creates uh, block 137, which is the command blocks. And it sets the command on the command block that it summons to, <laughs> to a summon command that summons that zombie. And you'll notice I'm using backslashes before all of the quotes in here in order to escape those out. That's actually a really useful technique if you're spawning command blocks. But yeah, so each one of these rows is a different level. So uh, this one is the basic level. You should see the health here is 5. Um, but then the next level has the zombie health at six here and then seven, etc. So, and then, yeah, all these command blocks spawn the command blocks basically right below the arena, although it's a thousand blocks away. And that's what's going on. There's little clocks here that, that test for the diamonds score for the player. I'm actually using the diamonds achievement objective to track the player, uh, the player score there and what level they're on. But... That's pretty much how it works, and if you take damage, it basically sets difficulty to zero, then sets it back to one, and that's what resets all the zombies, and it also resets your score. 
so that you get sent back to level zero. That's pretty much how it works. There's a, a download link in the video description, and you can check that out. And once again, I would like to thank you, Ant Venom, and uh, yeah, try it out for yourself. Thanks for watching.